is in previous session we have discussed regarding dementia chronic organic brain syndrome so now in today's session we will discuss regarding the other organic brain disorder which is a delirium also known as acute organic brain syndrome first we will see the definition about the delirium delirium it is an acute organic mental disorder characterized by impairment of consciousness disorientation and disturbance in the perception as well as restlessness so here we will see the person who is suffering with the delirium always have the impairment of consciousness as in previous dementia we have seen disturbance no any disturbance of consciousness but in delirium there is impairment in consciousness will be there disorientation will be there as well as disturbance in the perception as well as restlessness so that is the definition of delirium after that incidence prevalence rate of delirium delirium has the highest incidence among the organic mental disorders the majority of the person who is suffering with the organic mental disorders they have the suffer, uh, suffering with the this condition delirium about 10 to 25 percentage of medical surgical patients also or 20 to 40 percentage in geriatric patients who will meet this criteria of delirium during this hospitalization that you can observe the percentage will be higher in the post-operative patients so the persons who are undergone for the surgery so in the post-operative states they are also suffering with the delirium states now which are the causes of delirium so most of the causes in that there are different different kind of causes as also we have seen in the dementia also so the kind of uh, similar causes like vascular causes if the person is suffering with the hypertensive encephalopathy cerebral arteriosclerosis or intracranial hemorrhage the person can be uh, have the condition of delirium or the infections like encephalitis or meningitis neoplastic uh, causes like space occupying lesions intoxication if it is chronic intoxication or withdrawal any effect of sedative or hypnotic drugs that can be also linked to delirium state traumatic condition like subdural and epidural hematoma contusions lacerations post-operative deep stroke vitamin deficiency specifically the thiamine deficiency endocrine metabolic disorders diabetic coma or the shock uremia myxedema hyperthyroidism, hepatic failure, or any metals like heavy metals, lead, manganese, mercury, carbon monoxide, or any other toxins, toxicity, anoxia, like anemia, pulmonary, or cardiac failure. So these are all causes can lead to delirium condition. Now, in this delirium, the patient will be showing this kind of clinical features. So symptoms like impairment in consciousness, as also we have seen in the definition. So in the consciousness impairment, clouding of consciousness stage which is ranging from drowsiness to even the stupor or the in severe cases patient can undergo in the coma also. impairment of the attention like difficulty in shifting focusing or sustaining the attention that can be also there perceptual disturbance disturbance in perception which is illusions or hallucination most of the time person who is suffering with the uh, Delirium, the person, they are mostly suffered with the visual kind of hallucination, disturbance of cognition, cognitive impairment, specifically the impairment of abstract thinking as well as comprehension will be there, impairment in the immediate or distant memory, increased reaction time will be there. So these are hyperactivity, aimless uh, grouping or picking at the bed clothes, flocculation, which will enhance the startle reaction. So that can be cognitive impairment. Disturbance in sleep wake cycles, sleep impairment like insomnia, severe cases, total sleep uh, loss can be there. Reversal of sleep wake cycle, daytime drowsiness, nocturnal worsening of the symptoms, nocturnal sleep disturbances will be there. Disturbed sleep, you know, sleep dreams or the nightmares, or continue sometimes hallucination or awakening. Hypo, hypno, pompic or hypnagogic hallucination can be also sometimes during the state of delirium. Any emotional disturbance is what you can observe in the patient, that is depression, anxiety, fear, irritability, euphoria stage, excessive happiness, apathy. They are not able to uh, feel any uh, experience of pleasure in any activity, wondering, perplexity, or that wondering behavior is also common with this type of delirium. These are all about the clinical features if the patient is suffering with the delirium. And the course and prognosis of this condition that is also onset which is usually abrupt 
duration of this episode as always usually brief episodes lasting for about a one week at least minimum but uh, in dementia what we are see there are the symptoms which is irreversible and the you cannot treat the symptoms you just you can give the symptomatic supportive treatment but here the symptom of delirium or the this duration which is brief stages after the treatment you can improve the condition so what kind of treatment you need to give to the patient that is the identification of the cause as per the cause the treatment will be different so in that immediate correction of that cause is required if the patient suffering with the hypoglycemia the the percentage of 50 dextro uh, 50 mg of uh, 50 percentage dextrose you need to give 100 ml of b1 uh, that is vitamin b1 that is iv thiamine deficiency to correct that iv fluids for fluid and electrolyte imbalance so as per the cause only you need to identify that cause and you need to correct that treat cause symptomatic measures to treat the delirium if the um, for example benzodiazepines or antipsychotic medications lorazepam uh, sorry chlorpromazine or haloperidol or in benzodiazepine lorazepam or diazepam you can give as per the doctor's order so and which kind of nursing intervention is required that is also providing safety and security alleviating patient's fear and anxiety within the physical needs of the patient if it is only required and facilitate orientation so that you can give that is up to the delirium and that uh, and then the other organic brain organic disorder in that organic brain disorder the organic amnestic syndrome that is not delirium but that is another kind of organic brain syndrome but major two organic brain syndrome which is important that is dementia and delirium that we have discussed now the other disorders are also there due to the organic brain syndrome in that one of the symptom is organic amnestic syndrome what is that the amnesia that is a loss of memory here also so characterized with the impairment in the memory and global intellectual functioning due to some underlying organic cause and there is no any disturbance of consciousness again in this kind of symptom causes of this organic amnestic syndrome like thiamine deficiency the most common cause of being chronic alcoholism in the alcohol withdrawal syndrome also what we have seen that is the most common cause to develop this organic amnestic syndrome that is vernik korsakoff syndrome it is also important term vernik encephalopathy that is an acute phase of delirium proceeding with the amnestic syndrome and while korsakoff syndrome is a chronic phase so here are two difference in this two syndrome vernik encephalopathy that is acute phase of delirium as well as korsakoff syndrome is a chronic phase of uh, amnestic syndrome head trauma here and in, in that korsakoff uh, the symptoms are like uh, confabulation or the other symptoms that also you can memory loss you can observe with this kind of symptoms head trauma will be there bilateral temporal lobectomy hypoxia brain tumors corpus simplex encephalitis or the stroke these are all common causes to develop the organic amnestic syndrome clinical features present memory impairment anterograde or retrograde amnesia and there is no impairment of immediate memory. So that is the main symptoms of amnestic syndrome. Management, same treatment for underlying causes. Whatever the causes are there, as per that only, you need to identify and you need to treat the patient for memory loss. The other organic mental disorders, brain disorder, due to if they are happening with the brain damage, dysfunction, or any physical disease. So these are all mental disorders which are casually related with the brain dysfunction due to some primary cerebral diseases, systematic. diseases or any toxic substances which need to be corrected the uh, in that also which are the primary cerebral disease like epilepsy encephalitis head trauma brain neoplasm neo, uh, neoplasms vascular cerebral disease or cerebral malformation systematic disease which is hypothyroidism can be there or cushing syndrome or uh, hypoxia hypoglycemia systemic lupus erythematosus or an extracranial neoplasms can be there due to the drugs for example medications can also cause like steroid antihypertensive antimalarials alcohol or psychoactive substances and due to that there are some of the mental disorders which come under this category of that organic hallucinosis organic catatonic disorder organic delusional disorder organic mood disorder or organic anxiety disorder so these are all psychiatric disorder due to the organic cause that can be also there 
another organic brain disorders in that personality or some behavioral disorders can also happen due to the brain damage or disease damage or any dysfunction for example complete premorbid personality if the person is suffering with that and due to that underlying organic cause that personality will be altered and that change characterized with the emotional lability more the emotions or the mood swinging will be there mood swings will be there poor impulse control apathy hostility as in mention of the earlier personality traits so in everything you can able to observe geology causes it can be the person already suffering with the partial seizures or the temporal lobe seizures cerebral neoplasm cerebral vascular disease or head injury so these are all conditions such as more the physical illness which can cause the uh, that personality disorder and how you can manage as per the cause you have to give the treatment symptomatic treatment with the lithium more uh, more disorders carbamazepine or with the antipsychotic so you can refer these are all following link related to the delirium condition that you can observe and if you have any doubt you can contact me thank you